everyone, how you doing? So today I'll be showing you um, one of the foods that I feed Mocha. So this is a five star rated food on Dog Food Advisor. Now this is one of the foods that I feed him because I do like to mix up his diet even though I know that causes a fussy dog but Mocha eats anything so it doesn't really bother me at all. Um, it's made here in New Zealand and it is a grain free food which I don't know if you guys have caught on to the fad but it's really great for your dog to have a grain free food causes way less problems and way less trips to the vet. So this particular one is called Zewi Pink. So it comes in two forms. You've got the air dry biscuit or, or biscuit, or you've got the canned food. So the one that I like to feed is the venison and fish flavor. Reason being, it's got a lot more omegas in there, and you can see he's quite a fan of it. Um, so the venison and fish has quite a few omegas in there to help with the skin and coat. And because Mocha's aging, his coat's not as shiny as what it used to be, and he's getting a few problems in his eyes, but the omegas really help out with that. Then during the day, what I do is when I go out, um, I stuff his Kong with some of the wet food, and I freeze it. That way it takes him quite a while to work his way through, so that way he doesn't get so bored while I'm not at home and while I'm at work. Um, so with the canned food, it comes in a variety of flavours. You've got rabbit and lamb. This particular one is my favourite because it's a limited ingredient, which means there's less that he can react to. And then you've got the tripe. This one's great for probiotics, so if you have a dog with a funny gut, or he's coming off some meds, or he's just been through surgery, this is a great one to help promote all that healing. Then you've got lamb. Who doesn't love a bit of New Zealand lamb? Um, and you've got the venison. This one's another great limited ingredient one, so if you have a dog with allergies, and this might be your go-to flavour. And then last one is, just like the air-dried, you've got the venison and fish. So with the air-dried um, version, it's not quite a biscuit. So it does take some getting used to because the portion sizes are quite dramatically smaller. So for example, this is the cup size. So as you can tell, it's a lot smaller than Yuva Nuba, Royal Cannon, Hills, whatever. It's just a much smaller size, but they're getting everything that they need. Um, it is quite a bit more expensive as well, so you do have to be aware if you are feeding purely Zewi Peak, you have, will have to budget for it because, I mean, like myself, I just can't afford that. Um, the biscuit here, so it's pretty much like a jerky, so you can easily just break it apart like that. But yeah, it's just something different, so if you're looking to feed your dog a great grain free food, um, this particular one is 90% meat. The cans are one third meat, I believe. Um, some of them vary a bit depending on which flavour you go for. Um, my favourite in the can is the rabbit and lamb and the tripe for those added benefits of the probiotics in the tripe. And the rabbit, I find, is just a bit less smelly. So, yeah, that's some personal preference. And then with the dried food, you've got the venison and fish, which I feed them. You've got the venison, you've got the lamb, and you've got the beef. It also comes in cat as well for all the Zewi Peak. Um, for the cats though, I've heard that they just don't like it as much. I'm not quite sure why, but for dogs, as far as I'm concerned, I've yet to have a dog turn his nose up at it. And certainly when we go to the dog park and I take the Zewi Peak with me as treats, it's easy enough to hand them out to anyone and I've never had a dog refuse it from me. So if you've got a fussy dog and you're looking to give them some great food, then go out. Give Zewi Peek a go and let me know how you go.